Rich, we all know that these days everyone is creating content, especially on LinkedIn with LinkedIn Live. You know, you have an idea, you want to share your ideas, or you read a book, you recommend this book. So what tips do you have for people who are not used to creating content? And do you think that creating content kind of helps job seekers these days? Yes. The answer is yes. Overwhelmingly yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, here's why. Uh, my, my philosophy is that you cannot provide value unless you're visible. And my other philosophy is that it's not who you know, it's who knows you. Getting out there on social media can seem very scary, but you will quickly find in your area of expertise or the area that you want to penetrate uh, that you can find very like-minded people where you could contribute in good conversations, especially on a place like LinkedIn. If you are not ready to post, if you are not ready to hit record on a camera and let everyone see you or whatever it may be, what you can do is, is uh, you know, you can kind of just hang out in the comments. Okay. You, you like, Subscribe to the hashtags, subscribe to the companies, and follow the people that interest you that are project managers, that are storytellers, that are in media production, whatever it may be that, that interests you. Look there, and you could start just adding value by simply commenting on the post, letting the person know, I agree with you, or I disagree with you, or once I had this happen to me, what you said completely resonates. So if you take the opportunity to engage in the comments, number one, and I know this, this is not a new strategy. I know you know this, um, but that helps significantly. And then you'll kind of start to get a little bit more comfortable and then you can start making posts of your own. If you do make posts of your own already, then just make sure it's consistent. Um, there's a lot of crazy nonsense on LinkedIn where people post uh, repurposed content, viral content, acts of humanity, babies, dancing dogs, whatever it may be, because they want the views and the views and the views. But what does that have to do with your area of expertise as a job seeker? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Your area of expertise, uh, let's just call it fitness. You should be posting relevant tips, um, how to stay fit even if you're working 12-hour days, how to eat healthy when you're traveling all week long as a consultant. Provide value in your area of expertise, comment on people who's in the same area of expertise, and, and you're just not gonna feel weird about it. Like you're just talking about what you know and what you love. So that is probably the best advice I could give. And the more you comment, the more people see you, you're gonna see it, you're gonna see more connection requests. And you're going to just start to build a network. Yeah. And I believe in my previous uh, interview with other people, like I told them, like, just start with one like or one comment per day. Make a habit. Keep your mindset that I need to put out myself out. And as you mentioned, related to your expertise. So I'm in HR. I always put in HR uh, comments or videos like I'm doing it. Yep. If yep. your expertise is in technology, any related. So, but start putting out there because the technology or the job search has gone to that way these days, especially if you're applying for a job, the first thing the recruiter will go is go to your LinkedIn, see what you're doing, see what else you can bring to the table besides the resume that you provided them. Yes, I love, well, let me make one more point. Your purpose as a job seeker on LinkedIn is to make someone curious enough to click on your profile. Okay, so number one, have a great pro profile, but if you're engaging, that is gonna draw attention to you and people will start visiting your profile more often and you as a job seeker may attract the person that needs you right now. Yeah, I totally agree. And again, thank you for those great tips, Rich. And for the audience listening and watching, if you have other tips in terms of how to start creating content, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Rich.